The new Abyss just dropped and with the recent addition of Furina, I wanted to show some of the Furina's 4 star only teams. But before that, a couple of notes. I don't really farm artifacts so you will see a lot of the character showcase. We now have the correct set. But instead it's gonna be a mix of Wonder Troop, Gradiator and Emblem, including Furina, which only have the two-piece emblem. So there are a lot of room for improvement. And lastly, all the builds are gonna be shown at the end of each team showcase section. With that being said, let's start with the first team. Monogeo. It's decent but need heavy investment on Noel to work and it's also really consideration reliant for both Noel and the, and the two supports. Important to point out though that Noel in general work really well with Furina since she healed the whole team so you have a lot of other team possibilities with the combo of Furina and Noel and the only downside is Noel is gonna be the on fielder. So I will give this team a 3.5 out of 5. Well, this team is good, what did you expect? It's Panesh and Lin, of course it was gonna be good, but sadly in this abyss in particular we got enemies with Pyro Shield in the first half, so even though Furina has good Hydro up, it will slow you down by quite a bit if she is the only Hydro unit in your team. As for second half, there is the a Simon, so it's highly recommended to bring at least one Electro unit, but keep this team in mind for the future, since when not countered, it slaps. Also, if you were asking why, I use Sayup, she's one of my favorite characters, so you can use any animal character. So in general, this team is gonna be a 5 out of 5, but in this abyss specifically, it's kinda meh, so a 3 out of 5. Now, freeze teams aren't that good without the 5 star cryo characters, but that doesn't mean it's not viable, and in my test this team felt the best, and I know for a fact that it can do better, if only it was played by a better player. I made a lot of error during rotations, so yeah, skill issue on my end. Anyway, there is a lot of room for improvement, so overall it's still a decent team, just harder to play. Light. Judgment! 
Absorption test. Stand clear. Enhanced animal module. Seven. Now, Hyperbloom teams. Hyperbloom teams excel in single target scenarios, so it's perfect for this Abyss second half. And uh, I use this variation because it was the most comfortable one for me, but some of you might be asking if it is even worth using Furina in such teams, since most of the damage are coming from transformative reactions, so you are not really getting the full value of Furina. And I agree, but it's still worth your attention, since even though this is not the best use of her, it still performs great and it also frees up your other Hydro characters and on top of that, the more 5 star characters you substitute in, the better Furina value become since a lot of the 5 star have way more personal damage than 4 stars so I give it a 4 out of 5 in single target Now, last team that I want to show, it's gonna be a physical team. And I think it's such a good team. And I am not coping. No, seriously, this team surprised me. Now, I know my clear time for a Simon is 1 minute and 30 seconds. And for me, a good team usually take 1 minute and 15 seconds. But you have to consider that almost all other characters I use in this video are C6. But my Ferminet is C0 and Mika is C2. So there are a lot of untapped potential for this team that sadly I don't have access to. But if you do, consider giving this team a shot i really do believe it's gonna surprise you in my case i will give this team a 3 out of 5 but if you had the consideration i would guess it's probably in the range of 4 out of 5 Phasmagoria. Final warning. Leave the wall. Going on. Getting here. Frost is coming. Getting here. And this is gonna be it. I hope this team looked interesting to you. And if you have any interesting team with Furina, with or without 5 stars, share them in the comments. And as always, have a nice day.